Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show how to make cute little bunnies based on crocheted eggs. All you need to add is uh, ears, paws, uh, a tail, um, eyes and mouth, and a bunny is ready. These rabbits can be made using any thread you have. Uh, as you can see here, I have rabbits in three different sizes. This uh, smallest one is um, about three and a half inches tall. This one in the middle, four and a half inches. And this one is five and a half inches tall. The first one is made using crochet thread size 10 and a hook that is almost two millimeters. These two are made using thread of well-forgotten origin and thickness, uh, but you can see that the only uh, difference in the result is uh, the size of uh, the rabbit you will get. I will make another one like this today. Uh, this is a slightly thicker thread than size 10, so I will be using uh, the hook that is two and a half millimeters. We'll start with an egg. Uh, first, we'll make a magic loop like this, wrapping uh, the thread around two fingers. We'll pull the second thread to the front and we'll make the first stitch. Now we'll make this loop a little smaller and uh, we'll make seven single crochets in this ring two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we can close it and we'll make a slip stitch in this first single crochet like this, seven single crochets. In the next second round, there will be 14. So in each single crochet stitch, we'll be making two. Two in the first one, two in the second, two in the third, and so on. Now I have made eight. Ten, twelve, fourteen, and in the next round there will also be fourteen stitches. So I will make those stitches using uh, this end of the thread as a stitch marker. I'll make a small loop at the back to make it easier to take out and we'll just be making 14 stitches all around three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, and I have arrived to my stitch marker. I will reposition it now. We have made three rounds so far, have 14 single crochet stitches. In the next two rounds, there will be 21. I'll make a single crochet stitch in the first stitch and two in the next one. One single crochet, two in the next one. One, two in the next one. So I have made nine so far. One, and two. 12, 1, and 
the two. 15, one, and two. 18, one, and two. 21. In the next round, there will also be 21 stitches. Please make them, and then I will show how to continue. Now, I have finished five rounds and have 21 single crochet stitches. In the next two rounds, there will be 28. So, we'll be making increases like this. A single crochet, a single crochet, two in the next one. Instead of every three uh, single crochet stitches, we're making four. One, one, and two. I've made eight. One, one, two. Now we have twelve. One, one, two. 16, 1, 1, 2, 20, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, and 2. We have 28 stitches now. Make another round of 28 and then we'll continue. So now we have seven rounds and 28 stitches. In the next eight rounds, we will be 35. So we'll be making the last round of increases this way. We'll make a single crochet stitch one, time two times three times and now two in the next one instead of each four stitches we're making five and uh, we'll continue with this pattern one two three and now two stitches we have ten one two, three, fifteen, one, two, three, and now two, twenty, one, two, three, two, in one, 25, 1, 2, 3, and uh, 2 in the next one, 30, and the last time, 1, 2, 3, the last 2, we have 35 single crochet stitches, please make 7 more rounds like this without any changes just 35 stitches now i have finished the 15 rounds and it's time to start making decreases in the next two rounds they will be 30 single crochet stitches so i will be making one single crochet stitch two three four, five, and I will make one on the next two. So instead of each seven single crochet stitches, I will be making six. I will repeat the same. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, two together. One, two, three, four, five, 
two together. One, two, three, four, five, two together, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, and two together we have 30 single crochet stitches please make another round like this now i have finished 17 rounds and uh, have uh, 30 stitches uh, the next round will be just one round of 25 so we'll make a single crochet the second one one more so i'll make four and the next two we'll make together. So instead of six, we are making five stitches. One, two, three, four, two together. One, two, three, four, two together. One, two, three, four, two together, and one, two, three, four, two together. We have twenty five stitches. Now we'll make one round of 20. Once again, I will reposition my stitch marker and we'll make one, two, three single crochets and two together. One, two, Three, two together, one, two, three, two together, one, two, three, Two together and uh, one, two, three, two together. And we'll make another round of decreases. They will be um, 15 single crochet stitches left. We'll make one, two, and the two together, three stitches. Now I will just count them four, five, two together, six, seven, eight, two together. Nine, ten, eleven, two together, twelve, and uh, thirteen, fourteen, and uh, two together, fifteen. That's it. The opening is uh, small enough. Now it's time uh, to put some uh, fiber fill or cotton in it. I'm using uh, this fiber fill and a straw to make it more efficient, like this. Well, now the egg is uh, well stuffed 
and all we need to do is to close this opening and uh, we'll be doing it by um, crocheting two stitches together all the way around two together until you do not have anything left continue working like this please um, now I can cut off the thread and put the end of it inside the egg um, with a needle like this just somewhere inside okay uh, ready now we need to make all the other parts of the rabbit let's uh, begin with the tail once again we'll start with the magic loop and uh, in the magic loop we'll make six single crochet stitches we'll make it a little smaller one two three four five six we'll close this loop and we'll make a slip stitch in the first single crochet so six stitches in the next round we'll need 12 so we'll be doubling the number of stitches two in each I have made four six eight ten and uh, twelve and the next two rounds also are going to be rounds of 12 stitches please make them on your own i have finished these rounds and i have made four so far uh, and have 12 stitches in the next and the last round they will be six so i am making two single crochets together uh, the next two together and this is the third single crochet the fourth the fifth and uh, the last one will be here one and two and now we can cut off the thread and fill um, the tail uh, with a little fiber film like this if you are going to use uh, the same thread to uh, sew the parts of the bunny together uh, you'll of course will need to leave a, a longer piece of thread i am going to use glue uh, the glue gun uh, that's why i just hid all the ends of the thread inside now let's make pause a paw will look like this once again we start with a magic loop in the magic loop we'll also make six single crochets one two three four five six and a slip stitch in the first one now instead of six we are going to make 12 so in each stitch we'll be making two so i have made 
four so far. Six, eight, ten, and twelve. In the next two rounds, there will be eighteen stitches, so we'll be making increases like this one single crochet stitch and two in the next one one two in the next one one two one Two, one, two, and uh, one, two. Now please make another round of 18 single crochet stitches on your own. I have finished this round and now have four rounds made and 18 stitches and from now on we are going uh, to uh, remove one stitch on each side of the pole to make it kind of flat until we have eight uh, stitches left. So we'll start making single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven and we remember we have 18 here in this round so nine on each side so the last two stitches eight and nine uh, will crochet together so now we have eight instead of nine stitches and we'll do the same on the other side one two three four five six seven and the last two will be together eight so now we have 16 stitches I'll reposition my marker and uh, we'll make the next round like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now seven and eight will be worked together. So I have seven stitches on this side and uh, on the other side one two three four five six and now the last one seventh will be made on two stitches now i have 14 stitches all together in the next round there will be 12 and we'll be following the same pattern so we'll make six stitches on each side one two three four five and the last one number six is made using two stitches and the same here one two three four five and two together six we have 12 stitches now in the next round they will be 10 so we are making one two three 
four and the five two together and on the other side I'm not using my marker since I'm counting anyway one two three four and five two together and now we have one more round left in which there will be eight stitches so one two three four two together and uh, one two three and the uh, two together and uh, the first pull is ready like this fill it uh, with cotton or fiber fill but uh, don't overdo it it still needs to be kind of flat and please make another pour uh, on your own and then i'll show how to make ears we'll once again start with the magic loop but instead of six single crochets we'll make five this time One, two, three, four, five, and a slip stitch as usual in uh, the first one. This one. And as usual, in the next round, we'll double the number of stitches. Uh, so we'll have 10. We'll make two in each stitch. Two. Four. Six. eight and ten in the next rounds we are going to increase the number of uh, single crochet stitches by two so we'll be making an extra one here at the beginning and here in uh, the middle uh, once again to make the uh, ear kind of flat so I will be using this stitch marker as usual and uh, I will make a single crochet the second single crochet the third the fourth and on the fifth one I'll make two and we'll repeat one two three four and the two on the fifth one the last one now we have 12 single crochets and we have made uh, three rounds so far in the fourth round There will be 14 stitches so we'll make one two three four five stitches and on the sixth one we'll make two 
and we'll repeat the same on the other side one two three four five and on the last one number six we'll make two now we have 14 single crochets in the next round they will be 16 so we'll repeat the similar pattern we'll make one two three four five six and on the seventh we'll make two and one more time one two three four five six and two on the seventh now we have 16 single crochets we'll need to make three more rounds of 16 single crochets please make them on your own now i have finished these three rounds i have made eight rounds all together and have 16 uh, stitches in the last three rounds and now we are beginning to decrease the number of stitches once again making decreases on the sides to keep the shape of the uh, ears more or less flat so we'll start making single crochets one two three four five six and seven and eight i will make together so instead of eight i've made seven single crochets and same here one two three four five six and that seven and eight together we'll need to make another round of 14 single crochets do it on your own please you should have 10 rounds now and 14 stitches in the next two rounds there will be 12 stitches so we'll make one two three four five and number six will be two together and uh, one two three four five and the last two together it will be number six so we'll have 12 stitches make another round of 12 please now we have 12 rounds and 12 stitches uh, the last two rounds will have 10 stitches and uh, we'll make them like this one two three four and the next two together it will be stitch number five and the same here one two three four 
four and the two together and we'll need to make another round of 10 stitches and uh, then fill uh, the ear with a little fiber film something like this when everything is ready we um, need to attach all the parts to the egg um, i will use a glue gun but it can be easily done with a thread and a needle here i have glued everything together i also added eyes almost in the middle of the egg and the last thing I'm going to do is uh, I will use embroidery thread to make a little mouth. Uh, the thread can be of different color. I'll just use black to go with the eyes. And uh, I will just make a few short stitches like this. Uh, the mouth can be given different shape. It can be like a check mark, for example. Um, but uh, I like this simple, small black mouth. Mm, eyes can be uh, embroidered too, but uh, these are easily available in any craft store and kids like them because they move. So I just use these ready-made eyes. And uh, this is it for today. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, please push the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, want to be informed of all the new developments, now on the channel, please consider subscribing and pushing the notification button. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.